welcome back i hope you're doing amazing i'm going to be showing you how i make this brightening face serum with niacinamide and alpha abutin these key ingredients are amazing for your skin they both help to target those dark uneven areas on your skin help to improve the overall appearance and texture of your skin as well it is a hydrating facial serum that is lightweight and absorbs quickly into your skin so i'm going to be sharing my process step by step how i make this so let's get started and if this is your first time watching any of my videos my name is esther and i make diy hair and skincare videos on youtube as well as selling my handmade products online and i also have some online formulating classes everything i mentioned will be linked in the description box so let's get started I'm going to weigh out my ingredients using a digital scale and I'm going to have the complete formula at the end of this video. It's going to be given in percentages as well as grams. So I'm going to um, weigh out my thickener for this serum. Um, I'm going to be using some xanthan gum to thicken up this serum. I don't usually like a very thick serum so I'm using a small amount of xanthan gum to help thicken up this serum and to help my xanthan gum mix into my serum i'm going to add some vegetable glycerin so this is going to help mix in the xanthan gum and it's also a humectant so the humectant uh, benefits are it's going to help attract moisture to your skin it makes the finished product feel very hydrating so just mix well until there are no more clumps I'm going to be using a preservative since this is a water-based product um, this is going to help stop the growth of bacteria yeast and mold and i'm using um, tristat eco this preservative is broad spectrum and it's approved for both natural and organic skincare formulations um, so you want to make sure you're using a preservative and this one is not very soluble in water that's why I'm adding it here since it's soluble in glycerin. So just mix well on, until it is well combined. Next is my water phase. I'm going to be adding all my water-based ingredients, water-soluble ingredients. And I'm starting out with some distilled water. You always want to use the cleanest water source and that is distilled water i'm adding in some sodium lactate this also functions as a humectant so it's going to help attract moisture to your skin and next is niacinamide also called vitamin b3 this is going to help target those dark areas on your skin and also help improve the texture and appearance of your skin I'm pairing this up with alpha abutin just to make it more potent. Alpha abutin is in the skin brightener as well. So it's going to also improve those dark uneven areas on your skin. Um, the next two ingredients are optional. I'm using extracts. You can omit this, um, but I'm using some lemon extract, which is packed with antioxidants and also has anti-inflammatory benefits for the skin and kale extract is packed with vitamin a beta carotene it's also going to help revitalize the skin So this is what the water phase is looking like so now i'm going to combine both jars together um, i'm going to add the water phase ingredients to my xanthan gum mixture and i'm going to start mixing 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 um, you want to do this until the mixture starts to thicken up 
um, it can take anywhere from two to three minutes it just depends um, but i like to use my mini whisk to kind of speed up the process so i just do this until the mixture has um, thickened up and depending on how thick you want your serum to be just adjust the xanthan gum um, thickener um, so after mixing for about three minutes this is what my serum is starting to look like so it has thickened up slightly uh, but i'm going to go ahead and check the ph this is very important in this serum and with any water-based formulation that you make so all i'm going to do is take out about two grams of my mixture and weigh about 18 grams of distilled water give it a quick mix and i'm going to use my ph meter to take the reading um, you want a finished ph range of around six especially with niacinamide products that is the recommendation my initial ph is 6.72 so i'm going to use some citric acid solution i think i used about two drops just mixed it in and i let it sit for about one to two minutes and then i followed the same process to recheck my ph a second time And the pH the second time around is at 6.16 and I am very happy with this. As long as your pH um, of your product is in the 6 range, you are fine. Um, someone is going to ask, well, the pH of our skin is between 4.5 to 5.5. So why is this at 6.16? It is fine. Um, the thing is with niacinamide, if you use it in a product or a formulation that's too acidic it can form um, nicotinic acid which is very irritating to the skin so that's why the recommendation is to keep the final ph around six um, in that range so it's not going to disrupt your skin barrier because the ph is at 6.16 it is going to be okay um, so it's just important to follow those guidelines so this is what the uh, pH is like and this is what the serum is looking like. Um, so of course you can make changes, adjust the thickness. If you don't like how the thickness of this serum is, just make it work for your own uh, formulation. And here is the formula in percentages as well as grams and once again feel free to make changes and substitutions to make it work best for you shine bright up all night when never slow went down fall in love drunk mistakes we're bound to hit the ground the brightening face serum is ready and this feels so lightweight and hydrating on your skin to use this all you need to do is apply on freshly washed and cleansed skin just apply a small amount all over your face and your neck and then you want to gently pat this into your skin to help it penetrate the skin a bit more so just massage this then pat it into your skin your face your neck and then just follow up with a good moisturizer and SPF if you're using this during the daytime. Um, but you can use this uh, morning and at nighttime to target those dark uneven areas on your skin. But be sure to do a patch test to make sure you don't have any irritation to the ingredients. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions and i will be happy to answer them in the comments below thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your support please don't forget to like and leave me a heart emoji and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll see you in the next video bye